Okay, this is the fitment of the label into the aluminum prototype mold. Uh, I have one of the more thin labels here. This happens to be a wood grain. Um, some of the thicker labels are, are much worse. They don't, they aren't very close at all. But measuring the overall dimensions of the length and the width of both the label and the uh, aluminum, they both seem to be to print, or at least pretty darn close as I can tell with calipers. So if I take this label and I lay it in here uh, just to check the width across here, it pretty much goes down in there nicely. If I do the same thing with the overall length, if I hold my thumb down in there and I come to this other end, it's not quite down in there. I can kind of force it in there. It's it's definitely snug and it wants to it wants to buckle just a little bit. So it's it's a little tight on that. But here's where I think the major problem is. If we look at the corners, the corner of the label is a tighter radius than the corner of the mold. So as I try to bring those two together. I think that's what's holding us out, <clears throat> from what I can see. Uh, trying to put the label all the way down in there, all the corners are hitting. It's definitely hard to catch on video here. But that corner doesn't want to go down in there. Force it down in there and then the, the other side is out. So. Right there, I'm holding both of them in, but I cannot get all four corners in with one hand here. If I do, I am puckering the label. So perhaps the corners are why we can't get them to stay in there and shoot correctly. Although I will say we have had some labels that when we try to shoot them, the label gets pinched on the parting line and it ends up blocking our venting and causing us short shots, etc.